Thank you all, you've been a wonderful audience. <laughs> Before we officially end for the night, I've got one more surprise for all of you. A feast. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But not for you. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, you can come out now. <laughs> uh, and don't bother running my dear audience. You're under my thrall, so there really is nothing you can do about it. I so do hope you enjoyed the song, though. <laughs> now, I could be wrong, but I have a theory that you all have failed to keep track of all the destitute people, lambs to the slaughter, if you will, whom you have fed to our vampire overlords over the years to be used as their thralls, their playthings, and eventually being turned into their vampire spawn. And all for what? So you could have your treats. So you could stay safe and sound in your luxury apartments, safe and sleeping soundly, knowing that people, children in some cases, were being fed on at night. But I suppose, as long as it's not you, and they're not your children, it's not your problem, is it? <laughs> Angry, a little. But more than anything, I think we're just a little hungry. <laughs> no, it's not like there's a shortage of food out there. Plenty in the forest and on the farms, on the outskirts of town, so we don't have to give in to our baser desires and preserve what little humanity we have left. But why do that? when we have all the long pig we could desire right here in this very audience. How does the saying go? Don't get mad. Get even. Ah, ah, ah. That one's mine. Well, well, well. Look who's awake. <laughs> oh, don't look so panicked. You've got some time left, especially since I've claimed you as my personal thrall. <laughs> After all, I do so love to savor my food. I may hate the vampire who once owned me, but they did teach me the value in enjoying the finer things in life when I can. And there's no blood quite so enriched as noble blood. Divine decadence, really. <laughs> Besides, I wouldn't want you to miss out on all the fun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's no leak, darling. That's your peers bleeding out. <laughs> and look at all that red. Didn't you say that was your favorite color? How did I know that? Why, don't you remember little old me? <laughs> of course you don't. But surely you remember my mother, don't you? The one you personally took advantage of. 
the one you promised the world to, before offering her to the vamps when the chips were down. <sighs> Your family's old maid, with whom you used to sleep with? Ah, yes. It checks out that you wouldn't remember her name, but you remember screwing her. No. Oh. Was she more than that? To you? <laughs> well, you have a funny way of showing it. Never mind, you sold her out so you could maintain your family's good name. After all, it wouldn't do for people to know that you're intermingling with the help now, would it? No, 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 no. I don't want your pr your pity, and especially not your money, so shut your mouth. I get to talk, and you get to listen so you can die, knowing the extent of what you did. <laughs> and to think, she trusted you. She used to talk highly of you, you know. How no one had even looked at her, let alone treated her like a human. And then she wasn't one. I almost killed her, you know. My mother always warned me about the vamps, so I always slept with a stake nearby, and damn near expected it any given night. I just didn't expect it to be her. And it was just my luck that the vamp that turned her found out she had a daughter. An extra little midnight snack, so to speak. So... She brought me to him, and turned me into a vampire spawn as well. And when she woke up from the trance that the said vampire put her under, and realized what she had done, she drove the stake into her heart herself. I was lucky I found her that night, so I could say goodbye before she died. So she could task me with finding the man who wronged her. A life for a life. And a box I can now finally tick off. But that's enough monologuing for me. Now give me your wrist. <laughs> I'm about to drink you dry. And you're confused as to where I'm drinking it from? <laughs> Silly little human. Well, to answer your question, I want to see you feel it. To flinch in pain. To wrestle for control back as I hold you in my thrall. As you lay frozen in the pool of the other upper class idiots. Though I wonder, are you still considered upper class when you're in the grave. Hmm. I suppose not. <laughs> Although why am I even asking you? You can't even answer. Now where was I? Ah, oh, yes. I was just getting a drink. <laughs> God, it really is true what they say about fear. Especially when it comes well deserved. <laughs> I better pace myself before I drain you too quickly. You'll have to excuse my eagerness. I've always wanted to see what it's like when the rich are fully drained of their, shall we say, resources. <laughs> <laughs> so many questions for someone bleeding out. Well, I wanted out from the thumb of my vampire keeper, and I was already halfway there to being a vampire, so I figured. If you can't beat them, join them. And, I must say, your blood tastes so much better. Disgusting fuckward idiots. <laughs> <laughs>
Anyway, long story short, I killed the vamp that turned my mother and drove her to leaving me. And I'm working with the other vampire spawns out there to get what's theirs. But first, <laughs> I'm going to get what's mine. <laughs> oh, what's this? The newest mage, or... <laughs> she looks so deliciously young. Who is this? Surely not nobody. It makes sense if it fell out of your pocket, but it's in your fists. And you look scared. Oh. Oh. She's your daughter, is she? Hmm. I'm no monster. Unlike you, I will even do her one better and make sure she is well taken care of. But as for you, darling, you should still have just enough blood to have some strength left. We're going to play a little game of tag where I'm it. I'll give you a few minutes to run while I count down. Now run. <laughs> <laughs> I've got other matters to take care of, but find this girl at this address and make sure she is taken care of. No, not to kill you, idiot. To make sure she makes it to one of her relatives, or at least a good home. Never mind who she is. Just take care of it and let me know what becomes of her. Her father might have been an asshole, but that's not her fault. I doubt it. But if she wants to come find me, she can. Anyway, like I said, I've got stuff to do. Anyway, when everyone's had their fill, they can leave the bodies. It'll leave a message. Happy drinking, everyone. Drinks on me.